Boeing has announced its deliveries for significant aircraft programs across the company. Notably, though, today, our focus is on their commercial aircraft programs, where they saw 130 planes delivered. As a result of Boeing's performance in the first quarter, they delivered three more planes over their fierce competitor, Airbus, who came in at 127. The most talked about delivery for the first quarter, no doubt, came from the American aircraft manufacturer for their last delivery of the Boeing 747. The ceremony was hosted in Seattle and wrapped up over half a century of continuous production and ends a valuable chapter in Boeing's history. Additionally, Boeing delivered 11 of their 787 Dreamliners. These numbers could have ultimately been, yes, higher if it wasn't for another issue that prevented deliveries for a multi-week-long period. This is another one of the many roadblocks experienced by Boeing for the program, with these roadblocks being enforced by the Federal Aviation Administration, who have been taking a look at aircraft with a fine microscope since the events of the 737 MAX and the 787 quality assurance difficulties came to light. Boeing saw three 777s delivered alongside just a singular 767. Similar to the Dreamliner program, the 767 was primarily impacted by difficulties which prevented deliveries from being approved. They'll be hoping that the remainder of this calendar year will see the number only increase. 737 MAX deliveries remained an essential part of the first quarter, with over 50. Ultimately though, Boeing can be immensely pleased with their Q1 delivery performance, with this being a significant increase on 2022's performance, calculated to be at roughly almost 30%. As for Airbus, well, they reported lower numbers, and the manufacturer describes this next quarter as an absolutely crucial one to determine how the remainder of the calendar year pans out. Airbus at the end of 2022 set an ambitious delivery target of 720 jets for 2023. Whether they can achieve this very much remains to be seen and can be labelled as up in the air, no pun intended there. If their numbers for the second quarter, say, also lag in expectations, well, then they'll likely need to be a major reassessment and potential adjustment to the final end-year goal. This would therefore be off the back of 2022's performance that saw them also just shy away from their total targets, something they'll likely want to be avoiding where possible. If Airbus wants to maintain their delivery ambitions, the next 12 weeks have been labelled by key executives as a sprint rather than a marathon. When talking about the aviation industry, we will often hear the alternative to this, which is it's a marathon, not a sprint. You need to plan out key decisions over multiple years rather than multiple months. But for Airbus, well, they're looking at it differently. The next 12 weeks will be absolutely essential in getting them back on par with expectations to achieve their end goals. And if they're unable to do this, well, as I mentioned towards the midway point of this video, Airbus will need to readjust that end tally of 720 jets as it simply won't be possible to reach this target. If you have any thoughts on how our main two aircraft manufacturers have started 2023, with Boeing's being incredibly positive despite incurring problems with their programs, you can let me know down below in the comments. Thanks a bunch for watching and stay tuned, much more rolling coverage of the industry will come out this week. And we'll